All right, welcome to my Fast and Furious Nissan Skyline Bundle gameplay and review. So a lot of people requested this. This is one of the most anticipated cars in Fortnite, and it's finally arrived, although it does have the collab price, so it's a little expensive, 2500 Compare that to a normal car like the Sentio, which is only 1500 So it's definitely unfortunate that all collab cars in Fortnite get that increased price to 2500 I guess the only good part is it's better than it once was because remember when they first came out, they were what, like 4,000 V-Bucks? They were insanely overpriced. Now the good news is it does come with a lot of decals. Some cars only have maybe two or three decals, but this one has quite a few. In fact, it has eight and it comes with two tires. Now let's compare that to a 1,500 V-Bucks car, no tires at all and only six decals. But like I said, some cars don't even have that many. So in terms of what you get, yeah, it might be worth 2,500, depending on how the decals look, of course. And that's what I'm gonna show you. And of course, I'll be showing you some gameplay in Rocket Racing, as well as on the Battle Royale map too. So let's take a look in the locker, first of all, because we need to look at all the decals and which ones are customizable and which ones aren't. So I love the description as well. It says, you know, for your family. I wonder if we'll ever get a Paul Walker or Vin Diesel skin now that we've got this in game. So this is the default right here. You can see it does say Rocket League on the front. Now for some cars, for example, the diesel, you can customize the color and the underbody. But for the Skyline, you unfortunately cannot put any underbody on. So you can only change the color schemes. However, it does look pretty sweet with all the colors. Let me just cycle through some. Orange looks really good. Red. Let's see what the greens look like. So it's not bad in terms of the colors that you can put on it. Let's see what we got down here. Is it yellow? Okay, so not too shabby. So how about the decals? Here we go. The first one is too bold. So I've got the main color as purple and you can see what the decal does there. All those white areas, that's the decal. And of course you can change the color on those as well. So let's see what we got. We'll do orange just so we can see. Yeah, so all those white spots you can now customize. So that looks pretty sweet. So that's not a bad decal at all. Ooh, actually, that looks really cool too. Purple and yellowish gold. Moving on, we've got Too Cool. So this one has a lot more of the base color. You can see the purple is more plentiful than the last one we looked at. Let's see what the color scheme looks like. If we change it up a bit, let's do red. So that's not bad either. Ooh, now that's a nice orange. Sometimes the orange doesn't look that clean, but wow, I love that. Okay, moving on, we've got the Too Tough. So this is the Godzilla one. And then it's got the explosion on the front and it says Zilla, a reference of course to Godzilla. So let's change the color scheme and see what that looks like. Yep, so you can see everything. The skyline is the base color and then Godzilla is the decal color. Very clean. So next up is the clean cut decal. Now this is a special custom one in that you can't change the color of the decal. Now I think it's based on your main color scheme. Let's just go back and double check that. We'll make it the default here and let's change the color to orange. And now let's go back and see if it's orange right there. Yeah. So this one you 100% can change the color scheme but there's absolutely no decal to it. So it's just, as it implies, a clean color scheme. It's a clean cut. So this is based on your main primary color. Whatever you pick, that's what color it's gonna be. So that's not bad. If you don't like any of these decals that kind of cluster up the vehicle, you can just make it clean as a whistle right there. And it's got that almost metallic sheen to it. So that's really nice. I actually really enjoy that one. Then we've got Home Stretch. This one also says Zilla. So a little Godzilla reference there. So not a lot of decal color on this one. You can see it's mostly the primary color that takes up a lot of the vehicle. Kind of two tones on the bottom there. That's interesting. Next up, we got the real life decal. I believe if I remember correctly, it's been a while, but I think this is Paul Walker's car from Too Fast, Too Furious. And I remember watching that for the first time. I loved all the cars in that movie. So this again is a custom decal. You can't change anything about this. So what you see is what you get. You can't change the color scheme at all. It's silver and blue. So that is really clean. Nice reference to Paul Walker's character and the movie. 
Next up, we've got the clutch. So this one's got a lot of decal space. So you can see that the decal takes up most of the color scheme. The primary orange is just in the background, kind of. So I'll be honest, when there's tons of decal like this, I'm not really a fan of it. Unless it looks really cool, but I don't think this one looks the best. This is probably my least favorite one. And then we've got the ultimate one, the Twilight Skyline. This one is magnificent. Another custom decal that you cannot customize at all. What you see is what you get. This metallic, almost holographic, purplish pink. And it looks so clean. Absolutely love that Twilight Skyline. So those are my favorite. The ones that you can't change and they're just a permanent decal, those are the ones I absolutely love. And most cars have none. You're lucky if a car comes with one of those. The Nissan Skyline comes with three of them. I think there's less than 15 custom decals like that in the entire game. And again, this Fast and Furious car comes with three, which is amazing. Now, as for the wheels, we've got these awesome jet black ones and you can't customize those at all. And then if you don't like the black rims, you can do the silver chrome ones. So let me hop in and we'll see what all these look like in game. All right, here we go. The Twilight one first. Look at that. That is beautiful. Let me hop in and out a few times so you can hear the startup sound. That sounds phenomenal. I could listen to that all day. All right, let's see what the boost does. Okay, that's not bad. You can see it comes out of both exhausts down there and then that whole back section lights up. That's real smooth. Next up, let's see the Paul Walker vehicle. Here we go. I changed the tires, as you can see. Those are the other ones that come with the car. It says stone tires on the bottom. I did not change the contrail, as you can see, but it still looks pretty sweet. Not bad. So I think those two are going to be the fan favorites. Let's see if we can do a donut here. Eh. And here's the third custom decal. This is the clean one again, where there's no decal on it at all. It's just that nice metallic color scheme there. I picked orange, of course. Look at that. I don't know which of these three custom decals I like best. They all look amazing. Obviously, this one you can at least customize to your favorite color, but the other two are really solid as well. Bam! I forgot to mention it, but at nighttime, the lights do, of course, pop on like that. Pretty cool. All right, next up is the Godzilla decal. Check that out. I made it into almost like Hulk Hogan color scheme here. It's yellow and red. That looks pretty sweet. So some of the decals can look really good, depending on the color scheme. There's Savage Systems on the spoiler there. And let's see, there's the Godzilla. It says Zilla on the front. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty clean all around. You know what? I forgot to do the horn. Let's test that out. Okay, not that impressive, to be honest. All right, next up, we've got the first decal. I made it this dark green and lime green. So this one just says touring on it. And then group A on the spoiler. It's got kind of a checkered flag there. Other than that, it doesn't really have that much detail to it. it still looks pretty solid, depending, again, on your color scheme. Next up is Too Cool. It'd be so much better if I could just hop in that booth and then make at least four of the cars at once. That'd be so much better. So this one's got a hat on it and it says R and K. I'm not sure the reference there, but it says RK it guru. Spoiler has a little design there. It says Lex right there. Front says motherboard. So that looks pretty good. Oh, I forgot to change the contrail. Blue looks pretty sweet on it, though. 
All right, second to last, we've got the home stretch decal. So I made this one black and silver. So not much to this decal either. It says Zilla on it. And it looks like it says Exus. What's the spoiler look like? It says Pro Chasing and Psionics System on the back. And on this side, YK Racing Suspensions on the front. Nothing special there. So the top of the vehicle in the back kind of looks like a honeycomb. It's pretty neat. Need a white contrail there. So some of the decals are not too bad. All right, and lastly, we've got the clutch. So this was my least favorite one. Let's see how it looks. I made it yellow and black, trying to match the hope color scheme here. So like I said, this one's just a little too busy for me. It says, what, Grim Ace Racing on the back. The spoiler is just a clean color scheme, as is the top of the car. But the hood obviously has that face on it. And I think that's about it. It's kind of like a bullet hole pattern there. But this is definitely my least favorite one. I'm sure some people will enjoy this, but not my cup of tea for this one. So those were all the decals in game. I'll show you the Twilight Skyline in Rocket Racing real quick. So there it is in the pregame lobby. What am I? I'm Platinum 1. Oh boy. Probably going to get a hard map. But that looks pretty clean in the lobby. All right, so here we go. Look at this. That looks amazing. Not too bad at all here. That nice sheen to it. Very clean. 99% boost right off the rip. I'll take that. Nice contrail there. I'm so bad at rocket racing because you get to these higher ranks and there's so many obstacles and stuff. You're not even racing that much when you get on the higher courses. You're just dodging stuff. But it looks pretty good. I have no complaints about this particular decal here. It's not too bad. Oh my goodness, look at this. What is this? The T. This is the first time I've ever played this map, so I'm probably going to get smoked. No, I'm going to get fourth because I don't have a boost. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. I placed third. I'll take it. I thought for sure someone was going to come flying behind me. And lastly, let's take a look in a real game. I'm going to use the real life version. Again, you can't change this one at all. And I will put the silver chrome tires on. You a bot? Maybe it is a bot. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's check out the car. Here we go. Look at that. Beautiful in game. The blue is just crisp. That is phenomenal. Wow. Looks good. Here's the boost. Sounds great as well. There's the horn again. Great all around. Definitely a solid vehicle. Pow! Great for running people over too. Pretty sure that was also an AI. Not sure why there's so many AIs this morning. That's not him. Yeah, that was an AI too. Okay, I saw an Iron Man fly in, so... We got nothing but AIs this morning. Well, the car is pretty sweet. No complaints here. So many decals to choose from. I think there really is something for everyone. And if you're a fan of Fast and Furious, you're going to absolutely enjoy this vehicle. It is a bit pricey, though. 2500 But, like I said, I think the custom decals do make it worthwhile. If it didn't have those three custom decals, I would be so much more disappointed. But because it does, I think it might be worth a purchase. The design of the car is amazing, and the decals are quite impressive as well. Another AI? Are you kidding me? Stop breaking my car, kid. Okay, there are people. There's a Twitch guy in this lobby, so this is not a bot lobby. I don't know what's going on here. That's five 
fake limbs so far. Okay, here comes a real guy. He's just gonna pass me by. Hey, you like my car? You want a tango? Oh, he doesn't want to fight. He saw the Nissan and he said, nope, I'm out. That's an AI though. Is he fighting another AI? Wait, he got back out. Let's go see. Is he fighting a bot or a real player? Wait, he's coming back. Wait, what's he doing? He's pickaxing. Wait, what? He's dancing? Okay, let's go talk to him. This is probably going to cost me the game, but let's go talk to him. Let's see what he's doing. I see you, buddy. I can't honk. It won't let me honk. I'm not streaming, so I don't know. Who is this? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I tried to honk my horn, but it wouldn't let me. Yeah, my horn's not working. Okay, I don't know if that guy just recognized me or what, but that was pretty, uh, pretty awesome. We'll have to see who that guy was. I'm pretty sure this is an AI. Yeah, that's another AI right there. All seven AI limbs. Wait, do we have another one? Or do we have a real player? Can't tell yet. No, it's an AI. Holy smokes. Wait, there's some real players right here. This guy's flying around. Oh, that was the Twitch guy. No, we smoked him. Cheatily. Sorry, buddy. Whoa. Wait, another AI? Yeah, another AI. So we have one real kill. That guy just pooped out the medallion. No, you don't. Oh, wow, we just smoked him. So this guy got the medallion for me and dropped it. That's crazy. And I wish I knew who it was. Okay, this is an AI over here. Most of my kills are AIs. Okay, it's a 1v1v1, and there's the good guy right there. Should I let him have the win? Because he's been super nice this match. The other guy's probably a bot. There he is. Oh, God. I got smoked by that guy. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. He got him! He did it! Holy crap! I can't believe it! Who is this guy? I can't believe he did that. He's gonna let me win too! This guy's crazy. Oh, man. That is incredible. What are the odds that someone just recognized me in the kill feed, I guess, and then knew which skin I was wearing as well? It was this guy right here, Bra2589. Shout out to this guy. Oh, he's not on PlayStation. I can't, I can't say hi to him there. Well, there you go. That is the Fast and the Furious Nissan Skyline. A pretty impressive vehicle. And if you're a fan of Fast and Furious, you're going to absolutely love it. Is it worth 2500 It just depends on whether or not you're a big fan of the show, I guess. But I can understand if you don't want to spend 2500 for it because that is quite a bit of V-Bucks for sure. But if you can save up your V-Bucks, it's definitely one of the nicer cars in the game. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.